This is a good day. Amen. 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 This is a good day. I've been tasked with bringing you encouraging words. And this is for the graduates, but somebody in here might need to be encouraged about some things as well. Amen? Amen. 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 God knows. And you know. Say right off the bat that the most encouraging thing that I can say to you, graduates, and everyone here. And before I do that, let me thank the Beelers, Dr. Beeler, Dr. Leon Beeler, Dr. Robert Beeler, who are president, who's our president here, and all the other staff, amen, and, and my good friend, Dr. Payton. Amen. Come on, give him a hand, y'all. All the other staff, Dr. John Williams, amen, and Dr. Wyvette Etheridge, amen, amen, praise God. All the other staff are working behind the scenes, making this happen all year as well. And many people involved in your success. And it doesn't stop here. It doesn't stop here. Again, what I want to say right off the bat as the most encouraging word that I can give you is what I use myself. When I need to be encouraged, I say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I may have to get a little louder and say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And, and then when it's really rough, I might have to raise my hand and say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He always answers my prayer. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Always. Never failed me yet. Always answers my prayer. May not be what I want to hear, but it's really what I want to hear. Amen. Because I know I'm going in the right direction. And you're going in the right direction if you hear from God. And all we have to do is call his name. But God has blessed us with more than his name. That's always there. The power of in the name of Jesus can't be compared with any other name. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. I like this scripture for this occasion. It comes from 1 Corinthians 3. And it says, now that you have planted and that you wanted what you planted, Every man should receive his own reward according to his labor. In other words, now that you've got your degrees, now that you've got your certificates, now that you can go on your jobs, now that you are recognized as a professional in your career goals, doctors, 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 chaplains, 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 Counselors, counselors, counselors. God is saying it's not over. There's a fuller a reward for you than what you have today. This is only the beginning. Praise God. I believe that there's some things that I can share with you today because it marks the completion of your studies here at Restoration Theological Seminary. And I extend my heartfelt congratulations to each of you on this remarkable achievement. Can you say remarkable? Come on, y'all, y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all are remarkable. Amen, this is a miracle. God is going to feed us, but he ain't going to open our mouths. I don't know if you heard that or not. Amen. He's going to feed you, but he's not going to open your mouth. He wants you to want it. Amen. You've got to want it. I'm privileged to be here to offer guidance and support 
for your ministry and spirit growth journey. Because that's what it is. Let us dive into the key aspects that will shape your path and enable you to make a lasting impact on the world. Servant leadership ministry is not about seeking power or recognition, but about adopting a servant's heart. Somebody say amen. amen. It's the calling of a servant leader. Follow the example of Christ as you humbly serve others and meet their needs. Amen? Amen. Seek to understand and walk about alongside others, practicing entering their joys and sorrows and extending love and care. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Amen. 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 But our, in our diverse world, we culturally be culturally sensitive in ministry. Things are not the same as they used to be when I was growing up. I pray to God that I'm 73 years old. This past week, I turned 73. But it's a different world. Amen. As the old movie or uh, television show that my wife watches, I'm sure it's black and white. She probably is in somewhere. I know she's in there. Yes, she is. There's some, there's some old uh, shows that say, as the world, amen. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And the world is still turning. Amen. And it always is not turning in the direction that God wants us to go. Right. But we have to be the ones to let people know that there's another way. We are living and we are serving in a diverse world. Even if you were just born 20-something, 30-something years ago, it's not the same. The world is constantly changing. And we have to learn how to adapt. Not that we receive all that they, the world has, but we continue to try to reach out and change and let the world know that there is another way. That never changes. Amen? Amen? That was a little nugget there. I hope you can write that down and take it with you because you're going you to probably need it before the week is out. Amen? <laughs> Spiritual growth is a long life journey. Strengthen your connections with God through prayer and meditation. I need to say that again. Because you're going to need the Lord. Let me encourage you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. You're going to need the Lord. Yeah. You're equipped to do the work, but you're going to need God to do the work. Amen? Amen. Amen. It's his work that we're doing. Amen? And I know you're excited, and I'm excited for you. But I want to make sure that you understand that this is not a clear path. It's full of obstacles, full of pitfalls. Everything that you do can be challenged if you're great at what you're doing because you're making a difference. Don't be afraid. God is in on your side. Amen? Ministry can be demanding, so prioritize your self-care. You got to take care of yourself. Amen? Get yourself a group of friends and around great people that know you, trust you, love you, that allow you to be yourself so that you can calm down. Amen? Attend physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being activities, recognizing that you cannot pour from an empty cup. Uh-huh. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Pay attention to your emotional well-being. That's right. Get help from trusted friends, mentor, counselors to face ministry camp challenges. Anybody getting anything out of this? Amen. Amen. Anybody out there getting anything in this? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Constantly expand your knowledge. It's not over. Skills through further education, conferences, and books, professional development, cultivate character traits that reflect Christ. 
not who you see on television and not who you admire and you know, not who you look up to and who pay you. Money is not the answer Amen. to success. God is. Amen. Success comes from God. Come on over here. Y'all ought to be talking about that. I can tell you, money is just money. But God is everything. God is over everything. Cultivate character traits that reflect Christ. Embrace integrity, humility, and courage as you embody the values you proclaim in your ministry and personal life. Have integrity. Don't be a fraud. Don't, 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 don't try to fool people. Let them know who you are. Amen? And so that they can trust you because they know you and you know them. I'm trying to help somebody here. In all your endeavors, remember that God goes before you. Amen. In other words, he's already been there. Bless the Lord. Amen. In other words, he already knows what needs to happen. Right. Amen. He's already worked out. All you have to do is trust God. Trust God. Some of you might be fearful right now. This doctorate, this degree, this chaplaincy are putting, putting you in situations that you've never been in. But trust God. Trust God. Amen? Amen? He's not in your back pocket. He's not on your cell phone. Right. He's not at the bank. Right. He's not in your checking account. Amen? Amen? Amen. God is everywhere. Amen. Everywhere. Amen. In all your endeavors, remember that God goes before you. Trust in his guidance. Lean on his grace and be open to his transformative power in your life and in your ministry. I'm going to round it up right now. I know I only had about 15 minutes. I'm a preacher, so you know, the mic might be in trouble. Already in trouble. But that's all right. I'm going to be obedient this morning. Amen. So I just want to give you a few, few highlights. Amen. Pursue, pursue, pursue. Don't, don't give up. Don't give up. Like the scripture said, you, you've attained it. You water it, but don't take it for granted. Pursue, stay hungry. Stay open to hearing from other people. Make yourself available, both to help and to receive. You already made it to the first base, but the game is not over. Congratulations yeah. to graduates. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.